CodeCamp backend development and APIs, managing packages with NPM on the final uh, challenge. Remove a package from our dependencies. Okay, so we have now learned about a few ways to mess around and manage the dependencies in a project. Um, we may want to remove a, a package. So all we have to do for that is remove the package. Guess what? That's it. So for this, we want to remove the free code camp dependency. So back in our Replit project, package JSON file, we can go ahead and remove this free code camp example. If there was another package underneath here, like mongoose or something, we would also have to remove the comma, but there is not. So we'll just remove this entire line like that. And now that dependency is no longer in our project and will no longer be run or installed when someone copies the project and does an NPM install. Um, this is this was a short section, pretty simple and pretty straightforward, kind of just managing a JSON file um, and putting in information. But it is good information to know because a package JSON, as it's kind of gone over, is kind of the heart of the project information that will tell uh, a, you know, someone who copies the project or even our, our version when we run it our, on our computer, what, you know, what the information and data is on the project. So this is good information to note, uh, pretty simple and straightforward, but um, definitely good information to learn. So, yeah. So if we look here, it's an actual JSON. What did we forget? Okay. So when we deleted, when we remove the package, you can see that this dependency is within an object, this express, there's a comma, but there's nothing following it. So we do have to remove that comma as well. So make sure you do that. And then when we run it, this will NPM start in our console here, NPM start, and that runs it and it is running successfully. So make note of that. That's kind of what I was saying the first time, but got a little confused there. Um, yeah, this is a singular, key value in this dependency object, so make sure there's no comma after that. So then we did the challenge, copy the live link, make sure the server is running, and then head back over to free code camp and paste it in. And that's it, we're 100% done with the managing packages with NPM. Hope that helped, hope that made sense to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next course.